Well, hello, what do we have here? Chests we missed the first time round. Get arrows for our troubles. You know what? We'll take it. We yeah. need them. That's why the hell not. Ah, it's a nice peaceful night, is it not? Just chilling. No need to worry about nothing. And note, hey everyone, welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, I peruse the beach. And finally, finally, got a battery upgrade for our Zonai devices. Quite a considerable amount do. So now we're all charged up and ready to go. And again, there's going to be nothing that's going to happen to us now. Not at all. It's all peaceful. Despite, you know, the mad robots coming to kill us. But it's all good, though. Nothing bad's gonna happen to us at all. No. We're just gonna... Just jump up and... Quickly go on our merry way and ignore all the bad things that are happening to us in this world! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what just hit you? An ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> that ostrich was possessed by Ganondorf. <laughs> what a jerk! Just so you know, I'm the one who hit you. <laughs> yeah. What a what a little git. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I killed your brother. He wasn't the culprit, but he was related to the culprit. Yeah. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Secondary murder. <laughs> yes, you're going to need the shield to protect you from that, Korok. Die. <laughs> anyway, though, this episode, Alice is back in control and she gets a fresh start to go wherever she wants to go. So, where are we heading to next? I'm just exploring the starting area a little bit because there's a couple things we missed. <laughs> Indeed. I can make my own way across now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need a boat. When I have a self-made plane. <laughs> Aha! That's a hole we could not do anything with. We've come a long way since then. Since that time, we've gained many sticks and many rocks. Yeah, because I remember when we first came across this, I threw a light beam at it. <laughs> and it worked like a charm. It lit up the rock. So thus, we would never forget. Now though, we have a... I've got many, many, many shrooms. Oh. I see. Yeah. It was literally just for a Korok. Yeah. <laughs> and a charge. Oh, Korok, guess what? You've got a new best friend now. We call him a chargeless corpse. Chargeless corpse. <laughs> yep. He's a corpse. We took his charge, so he has no charge. Hence, Chargeless corpse. Not quite a decayed guardian. <laughs> no. But then again, no, it, it's Korok. He doesn't deserve something that cool. And that makes me wonder. So we talked about this briefly, but now just, again, a point of where does the series go? Mm. After this, and I've seen a lot of people wondering what the hell this series does next. 
Well, I've seen the developers say they want to keep the open world format. And you know what? I don't mind that at all, because it works. Yeah? But I can definitely understand why people would reminisce about a traditional 3D Zelda game. Be like, you know, a linear story with uh, actual temples and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I get the appeal. And this is from someone who's uh, not played a uh, traditional Zelda game before. Well, I guess to a reasonable extent. I played Ocarina of Time once for 20 minutes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Wind Waker for a similar amount of time. We started playing Twilight Princess as well, didn't we, a while back? I think so. Yeah, back at your place. Mm -hmm. I like my hearts back, Sky Fairy. <laughs> Is this the start of another row? Yeah. Sweet. No, it's not the start of another row. What do you mean by another row? Second row of hearts. Ah. I thought you meant, like, cycle. Like, hearts to stamina to hearts to stamina. No. I mean, the circle begins anew with stamina. Now I can only wonder, how many staminas is the game going to give us this time? You know, considering uh, the amount of shrines. Yeah. yeah. I guess maybe it might be three again. You never know. Alrighty. Where to next? I guess try to go to that tower over there. If it's not one we've already got, I say go for it. Ah, and it's awesome too, because by the time this episode comes out, this episode will be going out today. Mm. Our first intrepid dive to the surface. I've kind of dated this video now. Yeah, that's the one I tried to get when we first started. Oh yeah, next to the enemy base. Yeah. Well, you also know where you're going to, and that's the Great Plateau. Mm-hmm. So, uh, good luck. Also, wait, how are you using your charge? Oh, I think it's because I have a construct bow. Or a zonite bow. Oh, okay. Okay, that I didn't know. I didn't know the zonite bow used up the charge. Fair enough. Well, I think this particular one probably does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let me guess, I bet that chest is not going to unlock unless you kill the Talus, so, uh... Yeah, have fun. Were you hoping to sneak off with uh, the chest? I was hoping to get a higher ground. I can do this. They can get beneath him.
They have just leaves and rocks. <laughs> That's all they've got up there. Now here's the best part. They can't come down. I don't think the guy can shake you off. No. <laughs> Oh, we can! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> believe that's our first talus fallen yep <laughs> now game this better be good is that a it's a heart that's a talus heart <laughs> what does one do with a talus heart Nah, take that with you. You might be able to fuse it with something if you come by something. Tell his heart. Oh my god. <laughs> you stole his heart, you monster. I still can't believe you. <laughs> I have nothing to say regarding that. <laughs> A ruby. Uh, okay. Now it is a, a stone talus shield. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it... it <laughs> It works. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I have a heart shield now. Yeah. <laughs> now are you gonna try and storm the enemy base? Yeah. All right. Hopefully you'll have better luck this time. Hopefully. <laughs> Excuse me, good sir. I'm going to die. Where the hell were you during our first foray here? I'll take your card, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a deal, lady. I let you live, but I take the card. No, we're too bad for you then. <laughs> the ominous scene. 
The rain falls. A rematch incurs. And there's a shrine right next to it. Yep. It's almost like they figured you would probably perish, so they made the fast travel point. I like how the guy's not blowing his horn. Yeah, I was wondering where that was. Good for you, buddy. You're gonna get pneumonia and you're gonna die. Maya Chin. <laughs> it's Maya's chin. <laughs> oh. My God. Or Maya, if you're talking 3D software. A fixed device. So what's the issue then? If it's fixed, why bother? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Please give the jingle. Please give the jingle. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I say, yeah, you did basic platforming. Good for you. So was it just asking me to get the ball? And then... Target. Target acquired. It's a fixed device, so I guess it works. Now here's the thing. If you take the ball out, does it does it move? No 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 no, it's a fixture. Okay. So just asking you to hit the target. Maybe well, the ball wants nothing to do with it. Now, can you just ultra hand the ball and just make it touch the target, or, or does it need a bit more force? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because I'm certain, I'm pretty sure you don't need it. I mean, what if you just go behind the ramp and just force it that way? Wait. Come on, Link, you're so close. Eh. I don't know what it is. I just love the echo effect of Link's scream. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, is it really asking you for a pinball machine? Really? Ooh, that looks good. Oh, come on, that should have hit. That should have hit. Sorry, I'm just getting flashbacks of Sonic Frontiers again. There we go, nice shot. Now what? Oh. 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 Do you want to try, or do you not feel like it's worth it? Mmm. I mean, last time we said that, we lost out on climbing gear. I would like to assume it's not going to offer the same thing again. No, I think you're good. I don't think there's anything of note in shrines this time around. Mercifully, thank God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi, not so subtle chest. What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. 
Wait, is it not letting you just ultra hand it? Really? Or is it just... Oh, it's because it's asking you to... How did we miss these things the first time round? Game, come on. No, Link. I only accept equal footing, not one inch beneath. I'm really surprised we haven't found if any of those yet from the gotcha pot machines. Do they count as one eye devices though? I mean, I would like to assume so. It just seems like a weird omission. Oh yeah, sure, like that makes sense compared to what you were doing before. Oi. Game inconsistent. Alright then, let's do this. Are you mentally prepared? Mm-hmm. You have a strategy. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I gotta ask, what's your game plan? Think of this like commentary, like fighting UFC. And there else goes out the first punch, and the Bokoblin goes down like a sack of hammers. And that's Moblin, quick stab crotches, oh yeah, that'll take out an enemy, and guess what, he falls, because who could withstand getting stabbed in the crotch multiple times? Now Link. Subtly brings up an explosive barrel, adding to the cornucopia of explosive barrels of the four. Alice, there is a soul tea. And there's the reversal! Oh, the humanity! And you get the goblins, they give up on their attempt. Alice stops time. The Bokoblin is stopped by Link's security guards. Now Link brings up the explosive barrel. She flees briefly out of safety. The Bokoblins think Link ran away, but no, it was a strategic retreat. <laughs> as she got a wooden club from somewhere, I think. Link doesn't even know how they got the club. I think it's fair to say the Bokoblins have since abandoned their base and decided to run away like little girls. The Bokoblins, they go to check to see if the coast is clear. Guess what? They ran away from the explosive barrels. Apparently the Bokoblins are not entirely stupid. But now, the Spike Ball of Doom looms over them! <laughs> it's not even attacking them, it's just... looming. The Bokoblins quickly run away. How is that barrel not exploding? I'm sorry. If it lightly brushes you in any offensive way, then yeah, sure. Immediate death. I can't even tell if it's doing damage of any kind. Legs <laughs> hiding behind the box. I love it. Link can't take this crap anymore, so he just chucks explosives at them! Somehow that one didn't explode. I guess that barrel was just made of sterner stuff. I'm going to 
point out that Bacoblin just shot a spike ball. <laughs> point blank range. Oh. And thought he was okay. Link just blew that Bacoblin to space. <laughs> he just ceased to be. And stabbed the boss once. <laughs> and then the epic music went away. No, his apples! Link might have lost an apple, but he gained protein in the process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe that's done. Yay! So here's the question. Now that you've killed everyone, does that mean they're not going to respawn again, even under a blood moon? I kind of doubt that, but we'll just have to see. But if that's the case, then what makes this Tau so special? Because here's the big difference between Breath of the Wilds and this game's. In Breath of the Wild, you spawn at the top, clearly away from any enemies or danger. Mm -hmm. This one, you are clearly spawning at the bottom, where the enemies will be, who won't be happy that you killed them once before. Yeah. <laughs> and like, they might even change color. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's the guy who killed us in the previous life. How are you? Are you okay? I don't think they'll be very friendly. No. I don't <laughs> think when you spawn as their initial killer, they won't say, Hey, we got your cupcakes this time around. No, I don't think they'll be like that. But now Alice has got her vengeance. And now she is ready to take on the world yet again. They're rare, my foot. You just picked up two in two seconds. <laughs> <sighs> and now where is this place going to dump you? Just some random pond in the middle of the sky. With another childless corpse mm. <laughs> and rockets. Oh joy! Yeah. But guys, I think with that, I think we're gonna end things off there. So next time on Tears of the Kingdom, I'll go back in control and seeing how I'm on the sky. I have a couple of ideas on what we can do. We'll figure out next time. Till then, thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please be sure to like it and all of the rest. Until then, we'll see you next time.